New York City will continue to lead. We will continue to do more than any other city or level of government in the nation to accommodate asylum seekers, because that's who we are, the city of empathy. This is an amazing experience as I'm here on a pro bono floor uh, where we are assisting uh, migrants and asylum seekers. Look at the lineup here, you see that it's a diverse group. Uh, many of them can tell their own stories of how they navigated the process to participate in the American dream. I mean, I am also an immigrant. I'm also an immigration lawyer, but also an immigrant. Okay. I'm okay. a U.S. citizen by the Oh, nice, so nice, I nice, know nice. First time, you know, the process of being a citizen. Who's your family from in Colombia? This is the first one I called. He was so positive and enthusiastic that I hung up and I turned to her and I said, guys, I think we can do this. <laughs> and we know, in the long run, asylum seekers will contribute to our strength like so many before them. They have already begun to make homes, to give back to their communities, to become New Yorkers. Uh, he talked about his journey uh, from the cruise terminal, from Venezuela, uh, came here, and now he's here helping out other uh, asylum seekers. You know, that's the American story, and this is what makes it real, the people. Thank you. Thank Mucho you. gracias. A la orden. <laughs> this is the magic of this city. People of all backgrounds living together in one place. New York City remains a beacon for all who come to our shores. And we will continue to uphold these values and reach out a helping hand to those in need. This is the New York City way. It is time for that to be the American way again.